Hey, what's up? How's it going? Uh, back here getting some more shit done. Uh, Mexico City, uh, Mexico is the uh, most important economic and cultural center in Mexico and is the world's most populous city with 8 million something uh, inhabitants in 2005. Less than five pronouns. So I think this game was made around like 2005, 2006. So it's definitely uh, running off of older data. So that's Biffy and all that good stuff. So anyway, uh, masculine versus feminine. It is time to talk about the differences between masculine and feminine words in Spanish. Nouns for some the pla places or things. Yeah, persons, places, things are grouped into two classes or genders, masculine and feminine. You know what gender a word is by uh, muchacho is a masculine noun because it ends in an... Is that a U or an O? Muchachos. Feminine noun ending in A. El muchacho, la muchacha. Uh, most pronouns that end in O are masculine, and most nouns that end in A are feminine. The other thing to keep in mind is what the word uh, it is something that is typically masculine, object, idea, or activity that is probably masculine. Feminine words work the same way. Barber, Barbero, I probably didn't run with that correctly, Salon, Feliquaria, I think. Uh, you'll see a lot of abbreviations throughout this game. Here are some of them. Mass, masculine, fem, feminine, uh, PL, plural. Uh, damn, I can't read that. The reasons the gender is important is that determine which form of the you need to use in relation to the word. Also, when looking at words for gender, it is important to make sure that the form of the takes on the correct singular or plural form. The is definite article or word used to signal the class of the noun. So in Spanish, there are four does that classify nouns according to the number and gender. The el, feminine. La. Los. Los. La. Las. Like los racas. Here they are, your list of pronouns. Well, the first is anyway. Hooray. From here on out, you'll notice how we usually abbreviate usted as un. Yo. Yo. Tu. Tu. El. El. Ella. 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 Usted. 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 So all this time I've been saying, yo, what's up? I would say an I. What's up? Here are the rest of the pronouns with the hello and goodbye for Nosotros. good measure. Nosotros. Ellas. Ellas. Ellos. 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 Hola. Hola. Adios. Adios. I think it's time to see what you've learned. I'll check in with you once you're done. Uh, and so far I'm doing something. Oh, fucking great. Uh. Hola. Hola. Usted. Usted. Nosotros. Yo. Yo. Eh, uh, ellos. Ella. Ellas. Adiós. Adiós. Tú. Sweet. That's cool. Ah, uh, that's coming along. That's great. Yeah, I could probably definitely use doing the live commentary for this stuff, so to go along a lot quicker, and all that good stuff, so, uh, what else? Um, I think it's time to see what you've learned, oh, welcome back, just remember two things, one gender is important, two singular or plural is important, three, learn your pronouns. I really sucked at trying to learn my pronouns. Oh, I do this again, adios. Adios. Yo. Yo. Uh, ellos. Tú. 
Tú. Nosotros. Hola. Hola. Él. Él. Usted. Usted. Ella. Ella. Ellas. Okay. I can't even, I, I'm having trouble reading it from this distance. I'm like four feet away from the screen, so that really doesn't help. And I haven't zoomed up on it either, yet either, so that's not good either. So. Okay, let's go along. The important thing here is that once you know that what verb conjugation goes with which pronoun, you will generally leave the pronoun out of the sentence. When you use the conjugation, you're getting two words for the price of one. Neat, ha! Huh? Let's go. Remember when you started your profile, you said... Yo soy americano. American. Yo soy americano. Yo soy un hombre. Yo soy un hombre. These simple sentences are fantastic. For example, of how important the pronouns can be, they also demonstrate the simplest sentence structure. You're Mexican. Tú eres mexicano. Tú eres el mexicano. Ella es una muchacha. Ella es una muchacha. Ella es una muchacha. Ella es una muchacha. I think I got to practice that one a few times. Muchacha. There we go. I uh, see you already know some Spanish phrases. Lucky you. You'll be seeing those phrases and many more a little later. For now, just give them a test run with your friends and relatives. I don't have any of those, so uh, we need to make every pronoun forever ingrained in something. Uh, oh, and then I get to do this, and I don't remember all of them. So I'm sitting here, uh, backseat driving myself, and I'm like, motherfucker, you're really going to suck at this shit. Come on, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, son? Um, so I think when I figure it out, I'm going to try to figure it out sooner rather than later. Doing live commentary and uh, do this. Because uh, I could really probably use uh, live commentary when I'm doing this as far as, you know, all that good stuff goes. So, let's see how that all goes. Adios! Hey, yes. Um, what else? Anything else? Um. Well. Hola. Hola. Um, let me see. Am I missing any? I'm definitely missing quite a bit. Um. Where are they? You've probably seen them better than I am. Yo! I think I saw you did this again later or whatever. The practicing. Hey, uh. Uh. Where's Usted? I probably don't catch it before the end of the video, though. Usted? Did I already get it? I don't think I got it. It's somewhere in there, though. Probably. Where, though? Oh, well. Uh, I think I let the time roll out because I can't figure out where stuff is. Uh, that's not too good. And I'm like, damn it. Where is it, though? I'm not even seeing it. Is this dead in here? I don't think so. You... Oh, uh, oh well. I didn't even see audio. Oh well. Whatever. I'll come back. I'm gonna do a review of this later. I think Cause that's what I've been. I'm thinking like I'm gonna do everything twice, but it, the second time is always gonna be a review or something. So. Uh, it says, I, you always want to, like, brush up on stuff, too, if you're not remembering it well. That's all for now. Join me next time, Lesson 6, where we'll learn about the verb.
sir. Mastering your words, something, something, and I'll see you next time whenever that shall be.